Hi, my name is Glenn. I'm a pipe fitting instructor here at Western Welding Academy. Today we're going to be transitioning some pipe. We're going to be making this wall thickness match up with this wall thickness so we can get a good quality weld. So we got a piece of double X over here, 160 wall, and we got a piece of Schedule 80 over here. Let me transition this one out to match up with the Schedule 80. The purpose behind transitioning is going to be so that you can get a good quality weld so your two inner diameters match up when you put your root in there so you have an even root all the way around. As far as a design side goes, if you had a wall in there per se because this inner diameter is smaller than this one, your material that's flowing through the line is going to be basically bouncing off that. It's going to cause turbulence which causes your pipe to wear in weird spots. The way we're going to accomplish this is we're going to check our inner diameter of this pipe, measure it, and then we'll get a burr bit and start honing this out until the two match, periodically checking it through the process to make sure we don't overdo it. Once I get the two to match up, I'm gonna tack these two pieces of flat steel just together, basically build a jig to hold them. We'll tack these up so you guys can see the alignment on it. All right, here's what you need to get started. A couple pieces of flat bar, tape measure, a half round file, set of chain grips, one inch flapper wheel, burr bit, set of calipers, an end grinder, ruler, and a couple pieces of TIG wire. All right, now that we got all the stuff we need, we can go ahead and get started. We'll clamp the pipe down and get moving. All right, I'm gonna clamp the pipe down. I'm starting with the end grinder and the burr bit because it's the most aggressive and it takes off the most material. We have quite a ways to go and this is gonna get us there. What I'm looking out for is to make sure that I'm not getting too far off to one side or the other. Basically making sure that I'm not getting egg shaped so that my wall thickness is the same all the way around. The burr bit is really aggressive and it leaves a lot of lines and stuff like that. This cone here is going to help me smooth all that out. I put an eighth inch hard disc on here so that I can take the burr off the end of the pipe and then I'll take some measurements and double check dimensions make sure we're staying consistent. Grabbing the ruler, check some dimensions. So what I did is I flipped it to the uh, 64th side of my ruler. I'm gonna put the point in here, probably at like a 45 degree angle, and I'm gonna swing it back and forth till I find my farthest point across the pipe. Looks like 50, 64 Grab my file, pull the burr out a little more. So I'm checking the inner diameter with the same ruler to see what the difference is between this one and this one, how much farther I need to go. Looks like 1064. So I'm off by 1064, which is uh, 530 seconds. I'm gonna hit it again with the rock, clean up some of my marks in there, start moving it out slowly now because I'm getting close. All right, just gonna double check my measurements, see how it's looking, see how close we're getting, make sure we're on point. I switched over to a one inch flapper wheel so I can get in here and start fine tuning it, buffing it up. I'm gonna 
tack up these two pieces of flat bar. Make me a jig to tack these up with. With our two pieces of flat bar, I was able to make a base by clamping it in here and just utilizing the uh, pressure on the pipe to hold them in place so I didn't have to tack them. So we're good to go, ready to put our pipe on here and tack her up. Really quick, we're gonna set the machine up. Right now I'm changing the uh, welding process to TIG. I put it on a uh, TIG process and 85 amps, just for putting a couple tacks in here. Now they've got the machine set up. I moved it up to 95 amps. Uh, it was running a little cold, so we are ready to start tacking up. All right, now we got her all tacked up. Internal diameters of the pipe are both the same. They're matching up. There's no high-low. The welding process is gonna go smooth. The roots are gonna go in there nice. And so there's how you do a transition. If you wanna see more great stuff like this, go check out more of our videos. And if you wanna learn from the best, go to applytoweld.com. Get your butt over to Gillette, Wyoming and get a booth hold payment in. And we'll see you on the next one.